How dare these Christians use discretion and discernment? How dare these Christians judge people? They're not holy and righteous. I'm a Christian. I'm not a perfect person. I, I never say that. I'm far from it. I'm a sinner saved by God. I've realized that Jesus died on the cross for me, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures. I believe in that 100%. It's reality. I believe in that. I know that's true. But we live in a world that is very fallen. Something that I think most people can agree on, and I, st I get questions and I get comments sometimes about, who are you to judge and whatever? Like, I'm using discernment. I'm shining light on signs, symbols, and agendas. I'm not nitpicking people's lives. But this video is a little different. Gary Glitter is a famous person. I believe he was a singer. I don't know much about him, but I've heard some news about him that is very upsetting that I think most people would be on board not giving this guy a pass. Here's Gary Glitter. Looks pretty trustworthy, hey? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Like, he, he looks ridiculous, in my opinion. I've heard some things about Gary Glitter, and when you Google Gary Glitter pedophile, th this is, I actually Googled that. You can see right there, Gary Glitter pedophile, and it says, Glitter was at the height of his fame when he attacked two girls aged 12 and 13. After inviting them backstage to his dressing room and isolating them from their mothers, his third victim was younger than 10 years old when he crept into her bed and tried to rape her in 1975. Don't judge these people. What are you doing? Are we not to use discretion and discernment in all things? Are we supposed to give this guy a pass and go, doesn't matter. Who are you to judge? Who are you to say anything? No, this is a red flag. I think most people, especially parents, would understand that Righteous judgment and discernment are a good thing. We need to use those in a world that is so fallen. When I think of children, and more importantly, when I think of people hurting children in any way, I think of Matthew 18, verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believeth in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. This is horrifying. This is very scary. This is God speaking. When it comes to children, they're very innocent and precious, and right, they're... I don't have children. I have cousins that have children, and they're funny. They're cute. They, they, <laughs> they're children. They're like... F fun little little beings, hey? They're fun little people. Imagining hurting them in any way is horrifying. Imagine hurting them in a sexually perverted way is very much extra horrifying. It is very horrifying. The human race, like, we need Jesus so very badly. If you look around the world, there's a lot of people that are very strange. There's a lot of creepy people out there. Again, when I say this, I'm not using judgment in a wrong way. I'm saying that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I love Jesus Christ and believe in Him. I don't want to sin against Him. And I especially don't want innocent people, especially children, to be hurt in any way. They're so innocent. They're just learning of life. Here is Gary Glitter, who again, he, he's been charged as a pedophile, I'm not judging him unfairly. This is a horrifying crime, and it's true. He's on record, right? They have him on record of being a pedophile. He is doing one-eye symbolism here. That's very sketchy. He's doing the vow of silence here. Again, is he keeping the secret of the biblical world about fame, fortune, and success, and most likely about Freemasonry? Why do I mention Freemasonry all the time? Because Gary Glitter is hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. If you have researched Aleister Crowley, you will know that he did horrible things and wrote books about it and became very famous and a lot of people admire him. 
He's into black magic and sex magic and Freemasonry and the Order of Templi Orient, whatever it is. He's involved in a whole bunch of satanic things and people mimic him and people idolize him. Gary Glitter, we just went over it, is hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. This picture says a lot. I would pray, like Gary Glitter still alive. He looks a lot different nowadays. He's got gray hair and a beard and whatever. But when it comes to crimes against children, as a world, aren't we so against that, right? Like in prison, people that are pedophiles, people that are murderers and that have done horrible things will say, this person's a pedophile, I'm going to make their life hell, that kind of thing. That should hopefully detour people from making horrible, violent, personal, sexual crimes against children. Gary Glitter, his eye makeup, which again, that's a woman thing, so he shouldn't do that, but it's melting on his face because he's crying. I've cried out to God in my life. I've cried out to Jesus Christ. Before I knew Jesus Christ, I believed in God, but I was confused. I just believed in God that I made up in my head. But Jesus Christ is God. He is how he sounds and says and is in the Bible. And like I just read this here, when it comes to little ones, if you harm little ones, your future is not great. So I'm not picking on G Gary Glitter here. I don't know him. I don't know his heart. God does. But this last picture, he should cry out to Jesus for forgiveness and direction and more. Hurting children is one of the worst, most heinous crimes in this world. It is horrifying to think about, and it is horrifying to know that, well, it happens in this world. What are you going to do about it? Hey, Christians, we're going to pray to God. We're going to stand up for the truth. We're going to shine light on the darkness. That's what this is. I'm not judging him unfairly. I'm saying, you know, here's reality. Here's what the internet says. Not that the internet's always saying the proper things, but... Right? Most people know Gary Glitter has been arrested as a pedophile. He does the signs, symbols, and agendas of a Freemason. Seems like they let some pretty good people in that club, hey? Gary Glitter is crying here. I hope that he cries out to God in these last days that we all live in. Brothers and sisters, please use discretion and discernment in all things. God bless you.